right, so welcome back. This morning we are going to finish knocking out this golf cart body. So yesterday we uh, painted it as y'all seen. Sorry, I got the phone plugged in on the battery pack because I edited so late last night that I was literally exhausted and it was like after midnight and I laid the phone on a nightstand and completely forgot to plug it in. That's the first time in years that I had forgot to plug my phone in. So again, I'm just out of it. We're gonna wet sand this thing this morning. So it got painted yesterday and you seen the the trash the orange peel the nibs well, it was not trash what it is is the metallic standing up in it and another way to understand this is if you were to take a square piece of cardboard okay let's say one foot by one foot by one foot um and you were to take it and stick it straight like this in the sand how it would stand up that's how a metallic stands up so just like if this was a metallic and it was stuck down in the sand this little corner right here this top like if the clear coat comes up to my thumb we got this little top sticking out over the clear so we just need to knock these little edges off basically for y'all to be able to understand the whole situation and then reflow coat it you can see it hitting in the background this thing is absolutely nuts i'm about to spin the camera around and show y'all what it looks like Dude, this thing is nuts. I'm trying to get Ed over here to paint his truck with it. Ed's got the black single cab. If y'all seen it on the channel one time, it was on the channel in the video up uh, Monday morning update, I remember. Ed, we gonna paint it? If y'all wanna see it on a video of it getting painted, we can. All right, Ed said if y'all wanna see a video of it get painted, he gonna rainbow his truck. <laughs> y'all better not believe that. I'm telling you that Ed's not gonna rainbow it. So you can see it where whenever the the sun's hitting it, this thing looks absolutely amazing. You know, all this side it's blinding, basically. But then when you flip around and you're just you, it's casted in the the shade, that's where you can see we have the orange peel look. Uh, anytime you have orange peel, it makes it look duller in that area. So we we that's the reason why we're gonna wet sand it today and reflow coat it with clear so it, it looks extremely glossy at all times at all angles right there you can see all of the orange bills so that's what we're gonna get rid of today we're gonna keep the um flakes in there not disturb them there's four coats of clear on it like i said i mean you can see down here is just like nothing because it's not hitting hard whereas that's hitting hard in the sun but as soon as you flip that up in the sun i mean you can see you got it but see that's what we don't like also see the reflection of the red car over there so you can't get carried away when you're looking at these kind of jobs and you're like, you know, wow, if you're looking at somebody else's work, this looks amazing, like how hard it hits. You got to look past the metallics and still judge the, the actual job on what it looks like in the shade, you know, and that is not acceptable quality at all right there. And uh, it's just a mixture of having so much product on it yesterday and just it being metallic. So once we wet sand this out, it'll all turn out just like it's supposed to on the next coat so you're going to start out by sanding all your orange peel out so all this has been sanded where the orange peel is gone you can see the orange peel here where i have lightly hit over it so orange peel is where it's like the texture of a orange or a basketball so that's what we're looking to sand out where it looks like this where we get rid of all of all of that now what i'm using to do this because i have been doing this for a while now is a da with 320 on it okay if you are a beginner, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that you should probably wet sand all this out by hand. Uh, wet sanding is way less likely to cut through um, and not as dangerous. That uh, 320 on that DA, you can cut through like that, uh, especially when you're getting to the, near the edges. Now, I'm not going to do with the DA from here to here because that's still just way too dangerous. I will do the flats with the DA and the top with the DA. None of this, this will all get done by hand you know and then again i'll do from here down all with the da which is which is the sander itself um and to here all this will get done by hand because even me with the experience i've had all it takes is for one second um too long for you to cut through on the edge and then you're gonna have uh you're either gonna cut through your gray paint all the way into your black which is gonna be a nightmare or you're gonna have where some of the rainbow metallics get taken off and then it don't look the same so the best situation is if you are going to cut through and there's actually a body line right there you can see so you don't want to be sanding too much on that which i felt that over there is right there and i just kind of 
went over it fast. Um, but if you were to cut through with just the holographics, then that's fine. You could dust a little bit more on to blend it out when you do your next coat of clear because you'll be able to see everything when you wash this and wipe it down after you're done sanding. But if you cut through to the black, then you're going to have to step it back up. You're going to have to do your gray silver base coat and then step back up your rainbow uh metallics and then you know you're clear so you're really gonna screw yourself so just be careful on this step whenever you're sanding done is we've took our parts our golf cart parts and we have sanded them down now I did do uh, 320 uh, dry sand and I did do some 420 or not 420 400 grit wet sanding you do whatever grit you want I won't advise anything below 320 when you're just shooting clear straight over over top of this so everything is back smooth nice and flat you can see the texture in like here how bad it is, let's see here, you know, on the inside, where it's not gonna matter, we didn't spend a lot of time on that, but all your outside is uh, back slick. That way when our clear runs over at this time, we have a smooth foundation to start on. When you're painting, your foundation is the most important thing. That's what makes the job is prep work. So if you start out painting over orange peel and texture, then it's gonna end up orange peel and textured. So that's the reason why you just, you want to wet sand this and flow coat it. Flow coating it is where we take our clear coat and we just over reduce it just a little bit. So you're just gonna add a little bit extra reducer in it than normal because you just want this to flow out. So your clear coat provides your UV protection. The more you reduce it, the more you're reducing down the clear coat, the thinner you're making it, meaning less UV protection. We already have, we had four coats on this and I sanded some off this morning. So we at least have three coats left. Even if you wanna say we have two coats, then if we put two flow coats on it today, then we're back to our three really solid coats, if not 3.5 coats. So you're good because you laid down enough clear on your first pass to start with. This, these coats are not for UV protection so much as they are for looks. They're like glamour coats um, is what I what I'm I get back in here, shoot this out. I'm double stacking these jobs with another set of wheels, meaning I've already ran these wheels uh, we just did these black for another customer. I do my color on the back of my booth so my filters are pulling them in. That way, because the color, no overspray goes forward in a paint booth at a cross flow. The air comes through like this, so all of your overspray goes like this. So as we clear these pieces, it's going to get overspray on the rims, but the rims are on their first coat. We're going to get these on their first coat, and then we're going to come back and get our wheels on our second coat and these on our second coat pretty much close together at the same time and these will only get two coats because they are just wheels normally we don't slam on a bunch because then they get really thick with clear and they're easier to chip so like that's one coat and technically i could send that out the door if i wanted to uh, i always can get a really good looking finish on uh doing rims so we're gonna get these knocked out and then i will show y'all what this uh, these end products look like outside all right let's go in here and check these things out man i think they look pretty freaking good that's two coats of over reduced clear put on them and i think we're perfect check this out so there you go you can see this this quality and this finish this time look at the reflection way better so whenever you do this, and you're still gonna be nasty orange peeling in here because it all gets covered up. So whenever you do this, uh, these metal jobs, you know, if they don't turn out right, this metallic flake jobs, I always call it metal, metal flake. Um, it's not that you can't paint, you know, so don't get frustrated with yourself. Uh, a lot of times it's literally that it has to be flow coated. Uh, metallic flake jobs have to be flow coated. Like I've never done one and successfully not done it. And everybody I've ever talked to or seen do metallic flake jobs always have to flow coat them so there's a couple little nibs of trash in this thing but it's a golf cart body 
I'm pretty sure we are not going for Barrett Jackson on this. Uh, the wheels turned out great on their second on their second coat. An average set of wheel jobs like this on a real simple wheel, sometimes I can get you out the door for 200 bucks. And a uh, you know these are for Jeep, so you have a full size spare. You might be like three to four hundred. Uh, if it gets a little more complicated, oversized, or if it's um, what you call it, if it has you know an extra one. So on a on a job like this, you normally can get out the door if you have some kind of custom paint stuff. You normally, if you bring the body to me off the golf cart and prepped, normally I can get you out the door for the eight hundred mark or so give or take just because of the amount of work that goes into these so uh, be expecting about 800 for an average golf cart body all over if you have a little bit simpler of a job i might be able to you know get you outdoor for six to seven hundred but you probably you probably should walk into something like this expecting 800 this is still quite a bit of work uh, prepping these things out and they do eat up a lot of clear coat and clear coat is expensive nowadays let's get our sun gun out we're going to show you this in the sun later but look at that man dude that is freaking amazing so paintwithpearls.com is the place that you can buy all these unique pearls and candies and glow in the dark paint and just all kinds of stuff uh, as soon as i showed chris that website he was like that's probably the worst thing you could have ever showed me or amanda because now they're gonna just want all kinds of crazy stuff which is awesome i love doing this stuff i don't ever get to do these kind of jobs so if you have, if you a, have a race car and you want to do some sick crazy uh, paint job that will stand out uh, let's talk let's look over paintwithpearl.com let's do some sick stuff i'm waiting for somebody to do color change paint or glow in the dark paint. I think drag racing uh, at nighttime with a car that has glow in the dark paint on it would be absolutely sick. You know, I think it would just be really, really crazy and a ton of attention getting it. So here's how these guys turned out uh, out here in the sun. So a lot better. You know, you've seen it in the booth. The reflection is a whole lot better. That's standard, just like it should be without a cut and buff. Um, I think these things turned out amazing. This thing is crazy how how hard it hits. I mean, look at that from way over here. This thing is nuts, man. They wanted this thing to hit. I said, dude, trust me, I got you. She's going to smack. You're going to be able to see this thing hit across the freaking parking lot, man. Gosh. That is pretty freaking cool. So that's gonna be a wrap for this one. Remember this, uh, these metallic flakes come from paintwithpearl.com. You can go check them out. I'm not paid in any way, shape or form by them. Uh, they don't even know I'm doing this video, but I know somebody's probably gonna ask where you get them from and that is where you get it from. So this is gonna be also a mini flake and it's gonna be the holographic like rainbow one. Man, that is sick. So y'all know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, y'all.